Yeah, I mean, that's true. I, I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, the, the Warriors will make a decision on whether, like, they still have a championship window or they don't have a championship window. Mm-hmm. You know, like, will they be able to create a championship window, like, three, four years down the line with Draymond Green or without Draymond Green? So, I think that's, like, a decision. I mean, like I said, I don't feel sad for anybody on this, on this whole discussion because, like, I think Draymond... I will still make enough money. I think Joe Laker will make enough money. Everyone's going to make money. Like, this is like, you know, a, a discussion of, like, riches. You know, it's like, oh, will Draymond Green give up $5 million? You know, and if he can't, then that's fine. Like, he's still going to be a rich man. I think it's going to be more than that, right? Like, they might no, want to take a... Uh, I, mean, he, I mean, what he's... What is what he's worth technically according to his accolades and what year of the market he's uh, drafted with the same team, signing with the same team again. I think it'll be closer to the 175. For, I mean, they can give him a four year deal or a five year deal. Uh, but five year deal means you are talking of a uh, like a 35, 36 year old Draymond Green. Which, yeah, that's um, what. So they have, to, they have to look at it as a is, is the window for another championship now or is it, you know, if Steph and Clay are there. You know, and they sort of evolve like the like the Spurs, like is Jordan Poole and Kaminga Wiggins. and Wiggins are they like the torch bearers for the next four years with Steph and Clay sort of doing what they do, mm-hmm. or is there still a window for Dre, Clay and and Steph? That's the decision to be made. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's not it's not a difficult decision, you know. You're saying it's not a difficult decision? No. Okay. You think the Warriors' window is still open, right? I mean, I, I think it's still open. I mean, they're still one of the top teams. I mean, not yeah. definite favorites for me to win the ring, but they're still like a healthy them is good against a lot of unhealthy superstars. Like, I, 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 I think mean, I just think that the yeah. most obvious thing is that he's going to take a pay cut. I think that's mm-hmm. just that's 99% the probability. Okay. Yeah. So what he's going around saying that I want the max and all that, you think it's just uh, like talk. He just wants to be in the news. Because he's gone on record and said that I want the max uh, contract. I want. Yeah, who will say I don't want the max? Only people like Dirk and all will say, no, I will take a salary cut for the team. No one like, obviously, Draymond doesn't belong in that category of people. Like, you know, I mean, he has to say what he has to say. Like, I don't know if. You know, and, and even if he gets the money, like I think I don't feel sorry for Joe Laker. Like he's made so much money with the Warriors. It's ridiculous. Or they could always cut like a back end deal with Draymond and say, okay, we'll we'll keep you on our rosters as a commentator for like ten years, you know, after you retire or some shit like that. You think people do that? I've always wondered if uh, that that is something that happens. And how does the yeah, yeah, make yeah. sure it doesn't happen? Yeah, yeah, they do it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mark Cuban and Dirk had some backhanded contract. I don't know if Timmy had it, but like of all the superstars that I know that actually took a pay cut was Dirk and Timmy. Then who else took a pay cut? I mean, LeBron. And LeBron basically runs the Lakers now because of the pay cut he took. 